Hey folks, how you doing out there? This is TJ Hines. You guys know me better as Mr. Flipper House. I'm the best-selling author of my book, Virtual Wholesaling for Dummies, that you can go and get on my blog right now at mrflipperhouse.com. Uh, you can also go grab that book on Amazon, and it's only going to cost you 99 pennies. And it's probably going to provide a lot of value in your life where you can start getting out, practicing, and implementing some of those strategies that are in that book so you can become successful wholesaling in today's real estate market. Beyond that, I'm a motivational speaker, and I had the opportunity to now at least do well over hundreds of deals in two markets, which is Tampa and Atlanta. But besides that, I have something I want to bring to you today, and the topic for, for today is going to be what are the three main private concerns or three main concerns or should I say four main concerns that private lenders have? And on top of that, once you get a good prospect who's interested in investing with you or in real estate in your local market, what you want to find out or talk about when you're face to face. So I'm going to give you some things that you can talk about with your prospect from face to face and some information that you need to gather from them to see if that working relationship could gel. Stay tuned. appreciate your patience. Hey, look, before we start, what I need you to do is grab a pen and a pad and make sure you take down these notes. Now, I'm gonna not going to take up much of your time, but I know your time is valuable. This is going to be very short and sweet. These are for in, This video is for individuals who's looking to start getting out there, raising private money, and what they should expect from private money lenders and how they should approach private money lenders when they actually have an appointment to sit down face to face. What are some of the things that you would say to them? Well, let me first address what are the four main concerns that private lenders have? Okay. The number one concern is they want to make sure that the transaction is simple and smooth. You don't want to make this transaction sophisticated. Okay. They want a smooth and simple transaction. And what you should do is you should use real estate attorneys, not just a title company. You should use real estate attorneys because these guys knows the in and outs of how to actually structure deals when you're bringing private money to the table. Second thing that they're actually concerned about is they want to make sure that the money they loan you is adequately protected. And the way that that's going to happen is, of course, the, the loan is going to be secured with a mortgage. OK, so that's going to be their security. That's going to be their collateral. All right. So what they want to make sure is if something was to ever happen, that they still have rights and ownership to that property. OK, the third thing that they're most worried about is, of course, what types of rates of return are they going to be getting on their investment? OK, are they going to be getting an 8 percent return, a 9 percent, 10 percent, 11 percent? Whatever that number is, they want to make sure that it's a number that they're most comfortable with if they're going to be investing with you, especially if they're going to be taking on the majority of the risk. And when I say majority of the risk, meaning that they're putting all of the capital up. So those are the three things that private lenders are most concerned about. Now on to the fourth thing. What if I get hit by a bus tomorrow? What happens? Well, this is why you make sure that the lender has first position lien on the property. So if anything was to ever happen to me, guess what? They still have that property now that they can either liquidate, they can keep renting it out, getting the cash flow on it whatsoever. They want to make sure that they're secured with their particular investment. Those are the four things that you should know what private lenders are most concerned about. Now, what we do when we actually have an appointment with a prospect, a private money lender, when we're sitting down face to face, some of the things that you should talk about. I get this question all the time. You know, TJ, what should you talk about when you have a potential private money lender face to face? What kind of questions do you ask them? Well, the first thing that you want to talk about is simply talk about what's going on in the market investing place. 
All right, what's going on in your particular market? What types of returns are you getting on fix and flips? What types of returns are you getting on buy and hold deals? All right, so that's what you want to talk about as a first note. All right, the second thing that you want to talk about is what, what type of investments are they currently in right now? Okay, and what type of returns are they getting? And are they happy with the returns that they're getting at this time? The third thing that you want to talk about is find out, you know, what's his level of risk? Are they looking for more security or, or are they more of a risk taker, such as investing in stocks, bonds, annuities, etc.? You want to make sure that you find out all this pertinent information so now you can put your spill together, put your speech together to kind of let them know, hey, this is the type of value that I could bring to the table and get you these type of returns over these type of returns. Now, usually in real estate, you're going to be able to get more better returns, of course, than invested in paper, uh, which is stock, annuities, bonds, whatsoever. We all know that paper doesn't hold value long. So if you're not investing in real estate, hey, make sure that you're investing in something that's hard, real and tangible, such as gold or silver, something that you can actually reach out and touch, something that you something that can withstand the test of time. Hey guys, I know that information was very, very, very compact and I gave it to you very, very quickly. And as I told you, I'm not going to keep you here long, but hopefully you took very good notes. If not, rewind this thing back two, three, four times if you needed to get a complete understanding. And if you don't have it down yet, as far as a clear understanding of what I just explained, send your questions about this particular video to info at MrFlipperHouse.com. Guys, I need you to do another favor for me. I need you to like this video and I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now because you don't want to miss out on anything else that I may have to cover and bring to the table that can possibly add some value to you and your business. This your boy, Mr. Flipper Hines, TJ Hines, and I'm out of here. Peace.